Good morning, all. Today is uh, March 27th, and we are in Deuteronomy chapter 8. And I um, just wanted to talk about something here in verse 17. Um, it says this. Uh, let me back up, maybe. I don't know, 17 is fine. Uh, you may say to yourself, My power and the strength of my hands have uh, produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth, and so confirms his covenant, which is which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. So what Moses is talking about here is once they get into the land, they're going to be successful, and they're going to be fruitful and multiply and drive out the peoples there. And then in future generations, they are going to forget. Uh, it says, be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe his commands and his laws and his decrees that I'm giving you today. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build houses, or build fine houses and settle down, and when your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increase and all you have is multiplied, then your heart will become proud and you'll forget the Lord, your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. So there's a an English word, an old English word, vainglory, which is the idea of um, glorying, things, glorying in things that are vanity or taking credit for something that you didn't actually do and glorying in that. And that's what's happening here is they're um, they're forgetting where the source of all of their success and wealth and safety and security comes from, and they're attributing it to themselves. Um, this is something that happens uh, with Nebuchadnezzar much later on as well. It's uh, talked about in Daniel, and Nebuchadnezzar looks around at the palace and the um, successful land that he's put together, and he thinks that it's all because of his glory, and God um, puts him in his right place, makes him a, a wild beast for seven years. So. Um, there's a big danger, I think, in having too much success and then forgetting where that success came from, how uh, God was the one who brought that about in our lives. Um, it's almost more dangerous to be successful than it is to be unsuccessful, because when we're unsuccessful, we cry out and ask for help. Uh, but when we think we're successful, then we don't need, know our need for help, and that's where we put ourselves in a dangerous position of um, being prideful, of being um, completely unable to hear the voice of the Lord until he does something to humble us again. Um, and oftentimes that can be very painful. So it is better just to understand and live humbly, walk humbly with the Lord than to um, come to the point where he has to humble you and take it all away so that you'll remember him. And that's exactly what Moses is going to say is that um, if they get that to that point where they forget the Lord because of their success, their outward success, then he's going to have to take them into exile. Um, and that's not what he wants for them, but um, what he wants for them most of all is for them to realize who he is and to walk with him. And if that's what it takes for them to be humbled, that's what's going to happen. So that applies to us individually too. God can do that in each of our lives. And um, and it's much better just to acknowledge who he is and what where, what you have, where it comes from. So... That's it for today. Thanks, guys.